give it a view as well. Let's test this SD. 80 amps per kilowatt hour, 2 times 25 amps. So this is an old one. 2 times 230, 400 volts, 50 cycles, 3 wire. Type ST, 2 phase. State electricity commission in Victoria. MK Sydney. Or well, that's just a media manufacturing code. Nice meter, this one. With the original wiring, this is this first phase here and here. These wires must have been changed at some point or rewiring of some sort. And that one strand came from here from the second phase. I pulled out of this one. I pulled this out. Look how discolored it is. That got hot, but the rest of it's fine. It's kind of odd with that one here got really hot. And here's the original, when this meter was first originally installed when it was brand new. Check that old wiring out. This was original, this did not come out without a fault. I'll loosen these screws right off and I had to wrench on this with my hand hard. That it all stuck to the baker lot as that rubber perished over the years. It was stuck to the um, back of the uh, brass there then. This is old school wiring. 1950s wiring, this one, original to this meter. Look at that. Wow, that is original. It's about the same gauge as this modern one. This is probably from the 70s, that one. 1970s wiring. So it looks like one of the phase, phase leading leads got changed at some point in the 70s by the looks of it. Check that out, that's a neutral. That is old. Yeah. You see that in your meter? That's definitely an original installation. Original to first. Yeah, that meter's been in, this meter's been in service on the same switchboard all its life. Wow. True Australian quality. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get its load wheel spinning. One tenth the RPM of a 25 rated or 20 amp BAZ I have there in my room. So I'm going to have to get the clamp meter for this one. I reckon we uh, hang on. Uh, 80 volts is about 25 amps in this area. There we go, 80 volts. There we go. We've got 89,942. 89, yeah, there's a kilowatt hours on it. That level's pretty straight. Yeah, that level is very straight. Wow. Be a slow test this one, but yeah. So not in fifties MKRST. I think uh, for this meter, that's it for this. Uh, that's it for the um, polyphase and three phase. I mean, there's the rest of the uh, single phase ones, which was saving for last. As I was sitting, I do a good detailed video of the uh, Australian Sangame. That's a gem, that one. That meter. Real good to get that one. I have to walk and get more meters like that. Of course, idiots like Power Core would have thrown them all out and destroyed them. Bloody idiots. Yeah, it looks pretty good so far, look at that. Yep, neck and neck. Hey Charlotte. No, you don't need a Max's food cat, forget about it. Little cutie. <laughs> Little cutie. 
kettles and ate less as food. I'm pissed. Day. Yes, that was a nice day. Look at that real spin. Gonna love those STs and BOVs. Get for a sniff hat. <laughs> Cutie. So, total load on these polyphase meters is 25 amps altogether, not two times, um, not 50 amps altogether. Two times twelve and a half amps. So two times twenty-five amps, or twelve and a half amps uh, each. Hang on, there. Yeah, that's right. Two times twenty-five amps. So if I wire those like that on the one phase, I could put. Uh, hang on. Yeah. Hang on. I've got it on the one phase set up. I could put fifty amps through that. I'll be alright because they're together. Twenty-five amps each. So I can put fifty amps through that safely. If it was two times twelve and a half amps, that'd be twenty-five amps altogether. No more than that. There's a way I've wired it up for single phase only. I could put fifty amps to this meter safely. Because they're both um, the load coils are wired together. So the load split evenly between the two load coils. So I could put fifty amps to that meter on single phase. The way I've wired it up here. Polyphasing was very common back then, mainly for um, floor heating and hot water services and stoves in particular, all required two phases. Even old welders required two phases. Many old welders are polyphased as well. It's sort whatever of been using um, a shop or something, a shop or a, a farm, most likely a farm or a shop this meter. Farms that have typically had the houses would have had two phases, and the uh, rest of it would have led to a three phase meter separately. Which nowadays they use a three phase meter for everything. A three phase meter would do it all. But back then they had the option, they didn't take the meter out, they left the um, original meter there, put a single phase on alongside it to read the single phase loads on different tariffs. Yep, spot on, this thing's accurate. All right. Turn that off. Zero that off. Plug safe at first. Bark will look clean. This one looks pretty clean anyway. It's going to look brand new. Okay, came out quite well. Looks bloody brand new. Completely original with its original seals. Let's set that one up there. That looks brand new on it there. 56 MJ. A fancy looking M and J. Different font. They went to a more bolder, plainer font than the later ones after that. Let's just see it in the other meter there. They even keep these screws that came with them. These screws are originally used to mount the meters in the 50s. So keep those. I can use that in the meter boards. It looks more authentic having the original screws and everything. I've noticed here this uh, plates off a different meter from a surplus. So you can see when these are all surplus parts when they made these meters. So that one was a silver plate, this was a black painted plate. But they've scratched the rating and the ant rating off and punched the one that's relevant for this meter. So they've punched in 225 amps, 80 revs per kilowatt hour. This was all pre-filled in for one, from another meter at the, at the factory. But they uh, used a surplus one and made it uh, for this meter by punching it in. 
sort of, sort of uh, foiled, uh, sandpapered it off and smudged the original reading off and punched in this reading for this meter. This is just quality Australian stuff. Look at the metal gear train in there. Fully metal. Very heavy too, these meters. Uh, they're all cast iron um, stato inside, like the BAZs were. Very good quality stuff. Looking beautiful. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.